Okay, hi, I'm Matt. This is Kaylee, Travis, and Jess. And today we're going to show you the do's and don'ts of volleying, bumping, and serving. Okay. So right now we're going to show you how not to volley a ball. This is what we call the bear claw, and it's what not to do. The proper volley involves the positioning of the hands and feet. Hands should be extended over the head with the thumbs about two inches above your forehead. Fingers should be spread apart. Common sayings for the proper hand placement include the diamond and the moose. Elbows should be evenly aligned with the shoulders. Position your hands so you can see them above your forehead and cushion the ball and release at the desired tempo of the set. The proper foot positioning involves your feet being shoulder width apart with the right foot slightly forward. This helps to reduce errors, especially when you're setting at the net. Knees should be bent and your weight should be shifted onto the balls of your feet so you're better able to move underneath the ball when it comes. Take it away, Matt and Travis. <laughs> and now we're going to show you how to properly ball your ball. Good try, Kaylee, but that's not the right form. Her feet should have been slightly wider than shoulder width apart with one foot forward. Legs should have been bent with the head and shoulders forward. Knees should also be slightly bent and your hips, shoulders, and toes should be facing the target. Lastly, you want to transfer the weight from the back of your feet to the front of your feet and get ready to pass the ball. Hand positioning of the forearm pass. Hands and arms should be apart prior to contact and are not brought together until just before contacting the ball. Movement to the ball will be much slower if your hands are held together the entire time. Hands should be kept at waist level and arms extended in front of the body at a 45 degree angle. Now we're going to show you the proper way to bump the ball. Pretty much an underhand. Good try, Kaylee, but that's not how you serve the ball. The underhand serve is the most simple serving style. The player holds the ball in their non dominant hand. For example, if you have a right handed player, the ball is held with the left hand. The player holds the ball below the waist and above the knee with the knee slightly bent. This ensures that the server is in a good position to get the ball over the net. Next, bring the right arm back and swing through to make contact with the ball and send it over the net. Your left hand should hold the ball still. Do not throw the ball or move it. Let's see how Matt does it. This is how you properly underhand serve the ball. Another key to volleyball is proper communication. This is improper communication. This is proper communication. Mine, mine, mine. All the way here. There's one. These are the do's and don'ts of coaching. Bleep, 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 bleep. Using aggression and swearing might stress at your players and actually make them play worse. These are the do's of coaching. The most important thing about volleyball is having fun, which we have all learned very much in the PTA volleyball course. Thanks for watching.